If you guys are in need of some coins to get that player or team you've always wanted, make sure to check out Mutt's store and use code TD for 10% off. Yo, what's going on guys? So today we are doing a spin the wheel draft. Over in the other part of my room, I have a wheel. It has a bunch of different choices on there. It has the shortest player, tallest, skinniest, fattest, fastest, slowest, you name it. We're going to go ahead, we're going to spin the wheel before every round, and whatever the wheel lands on, I have to pick the player in the next round. Now another thing I'm going to do to make this more challenging is I'm going to give my opponent a 14 point lead and try and come back and win. To be honest, I'm not really worried about it. I guess we'll go with John Harbaugh. Alright guys, so now I'm over here at the wheel. Like I said, whatever this lands on, we got to pick that player in round number one. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to give it a spin, and it's going to end up landing on, give it a second. And we're gonna have to end up going with the lowest jersey number. All right, guys, here we go. Round number one. We have to go with the lowest jersey number. Wow, we actually had some pretty decent choices here. Jason Hatcher is actually a 92 overall defensive end. Carter's a beast. But uh, we gotta go with the lowest jersey number. That's definitely gonna be LaShawn McCoy. I know we can't see his jersey number, but I can promise you LaShawn McCoy is the lowest number. Okay, so we got McCoy in round number one, round number two. Let's see what we're going to get. We got to go with the lowest jersey number in round one. Here we have to go with the highest overall. Okay, that's, sometimes that's not always the best, but hopefully in this round it is. And that's going to end up being, okay, it's going to be uh, McCoy. I would have liked Jimmy Smith just because I love cornerbacks, but McCoy's not bad. We'll definitely take that. Round three, we're going to have to end up taking... Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna have to end up taking the shortest player here. End up being Charles Johnson because he's six foot two. This is actually a pretty tall round, so it looks like we're going with the right end. Round number four, we're gonna have to end up going with the lowest number again. Okay guys, so here in round number four, we have to go with the lowest jersey number. Now by the looks of it, it looks like it's Hankerson, but you gotta remember, these two cards on the outside prior to Hankerson are campus heroes. In college, Hankerson was 85. Julius Thomas, obviously we see is 80, but in college, Terrell Pryor was number two at Ohio State, and I'm pretty sure that's the number he wears in the game because it's a campus hero, so we're gonna have to go with Terrell Pryor. All right, so we've gotten the lowest jersey number twice, which has worked out pretty good. You got us a quarterback and a running back. Round number five, now we're gonna have to go with the highest overall. Okay, we'll see what that brings us. Right, guys, 78 overall. We're taking the highest overall in this round, and we got 386 overall. So it looks like we're going to be able to pick. To be honest, I'm not that worried about my offensive line. We already have a couple defensive linemen. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually going to pick Jarius Bird. I know he only has 83 speed, but I just can't pass up a 94 zone. So we're now a third of the way done with the draft. Round six. We're going to have to end up picking. We've gotten a couple duplicates so far, but we're going to get... The slowest overall player in round six. Okay, that's a new one. Okay, round six, slowest player in the round, and it's probably gonna end up being Joe Flacco. I can already tell you it's gonna be Joe Flacco. So that kind of screws us over because now we have two quarterbacks, and that's pretty much like a waste of a draft pick. Okay guys, lucky number seven. We need to make up for that last round. Definitely didn't wanna go with two quarterbacks. Here in lucky number seven, we are gonna have to go with the tallest player in the round. Okay, come on. We got an elite round. We have to go with the tallest player. Melvin Ingram, six foot two. Definitely would not mind him. Daquan Jones is six foot four. And Trent Murphy is six foot five. So we're gonna have to go ahead, pick Trent Murphy. Definitely not complaining. This guy's been a beast for me when I've used them. See what we're gonna land on. Round eight, we're gonna have to go with the shortest player. Okay, I thought it was gonna be my choice, but no, why? Why would it be my choice? That, that would be too easy. So after picking the tallest player in round seven, we gotta go with the shortest player here in round eight. I know it's not gonna be Julius Peppers. Sheldon Richardson, six foot three. Michael Bennett is six foot four. So we gotta go with Sheldon Richardson. It's another right end, but we'll just move up to left end. But yeah, our D line is pretty much set. Still a lot of choices we haven't got yet. Round nine, is it gonna be a new one or is it gonna be Let's see, it's gonna end up being, ooh, I thought it was gonna be a Walker Troll. We have to go with the lowest number again. That's the third time. I don't know why we keep landing on that, but I guess we're gonna have to go with it. Okay, come on, lowest number again. And that's gonna end up being, ooh, we got two number 21s, Aqib Tlaib or Patrick Peterson. Now it's pretty much which player we'd rather have. Um, Tlaib is actually really, really good in Mutt. But uh, I'm going to go with Patrick Peterson. No offense to Aqib Tlaib. I'm going to go with Pat Pete here. 
And yeah, now it's on to round 10. So guys, a third of our picks have been the lowest jersey number. It's actually worked in our favor. We've got three pretty good players. Here in round 10, looking for something new. We get to go with the fastest player in that round. Okay, this could definitely be a pretty good pick. Round 10, we get to go with the fastest player. And that's probably going to be Kel... Oh, wait. Yes, Kelvin Benjamin's got to be faster than McCown. Okay, McCown is 80 speed. I would have been so disappointed. This is a pretty good pick right here. Kelvin Benjamin, 84 speed. Welcome to the team. Let's see what we're going to get here in round 10. Come on. Once you get those double digit rounds, you need the youngest player on your team. Okay. Okay, guys. The youngest player here in round number 10. We have Vic Beasley Jr. We have Perfect. And we have Bernard Pollard. I don't even need to look this one up. Vic Beasley Jr. We don't really need another defensive lineman. But out of these three players here, I guess that's who I would have picked. Because we'll probably just put him at outside linebacker or something like that. Here we go. Round 11, we are going to have to take the oldest player in the round. Okay, so Vic Beasley Jr. was the youngest player. Here in round 12, we got to go with the oldest player. And I'm going to have to look this one up. But we got a pretty good round. I don't even have to look up Hunter because he was a rookie. And Benny Logan is also 26 years old. So... I guess we're going to go with Josh Bynes. That actually works out really good because our D-line is set, so we didn't need either of these guys. And Josh Bynes is definitely a great linebacker. So this draft's actually going pretty well so far. Round 13, we're going to have to go with, come on, we're going to have to go with not my choice. We're going to have to go with the shortest player again. Okay, come on. Round 13, elite round. we got to go with the shortest player. We got Jason Pierre-Paul, who's 6'5", Darius, who's only 6'3", but Hightower is also 6'3", so there's no doubt I'm going with Hightower. And our front seven is stacked. We pretty much have, yeah, we have elite players at every front seven position. We need some clutch players right here. Come on, we need the wheel to be clutch. I don't know how a wheel can be clutch, but we're going to have to go with uh, the youngest player. Youngest player here in round 14. We got ourselves another outstanding round. Now, Delaney Walker might be the youngest player here, and that would be amazing. Okay, guys, so Delaney Walker was born August 12th, 1984, and Joe Thomas was born, come on, I'm hoping he's a little older, December 4th, 1984. So Joe Thomas is actually the youngest player in this round. I'm not upset. Joe Thomas, one of the best linemen in the league. I just really wanted Delaney Walker. All right, guys, so this is it, the legend round. We're going to give this a pretty good spin. This could be a huge round. We may get a duplicate that could ruin our draft. Or we could just get a stud here that really solidify the team. We're going to have to end up picking youngest, lowest, the legend with the lowest number. I'm not sure how we landed on lowest number so many times. But yeah, guys, let's see who we're going to get. Come on, legend round. We have to go with the lowest number. This is going to be huge. I see Joe Horn, 87, Reggie White, 92. But we get to go with Charles Woodson, who is number 21. That actually worked out amazing we you know we can use as many quarterbacks as we get so charles woodson and patrick peterson our defense is actually pretty stacked okay guys so this is the team that we got from spinning the wheel here's the offense we have a ton of speed on offense and then here is the defense the defense is an 84 overall we have all elites on our front seven except vic beasley jr but to be honest he plays like an elite our secondary pretty stacked as well Let's get into the game. Now, if you guys watched the draft where I let Siri pick for me, I gave my opponent a 14-0 lead, and he got, like, super cocky and started showboating, and we came back and just crushed him. But the key is you got to make it look like we're trying. So we're just going to go ahead. I think he has Ronnie Lott, so we're going to throw it up to Benjamin. Hopefully, Ronnie Lott gets the interception. That's exactly what we wanted because now we just look like a scrub. Oh, no. Look at He's showboating. Everyone thinks they're so good when they score in Madden. I don't know why. All right, guys. Here we go. He has a 14-0 lead. And now it's Operation Comeback. Let's see if he keeps bringing the blitzes. Of course he doesn't, but still, we're going to give it to McCoy. Ooh, give me some blocks. Dang it, man. If we had one more block, we would have been gone. We're going to score quickly. And, ooh, LaShawn McCoy. Go upfield. Go upfield. LaShawn McCoy's wide open. Catch that. Catch that. Yes, go. Keep going. Good block, Benjamin. Oh, come on. One man to beat. One man to beat. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, he's definitely playing the sneak. But come on, Pryor, get in there. Boom. That's what we needed. Oh, I think he's running. No, he's not. He's definitely going play action. I'm watching the middle. We got a sack. There we go. Yo, what did I tell you guys? Trent Murphy is a beast. All right, we got to watch the fake. I've played Lost Unbound too many times. This guy's probably faking it. And wow, okay, he's actually punting. Oh, he's playing a 4-3. Come on. Oh, he brought a blitz. Just give it to the running back. Come on, McCoy. Ooh, good block. 
Keep going. Come on. Come on. Didn't bring a blitz. And you know what? Just run. Come on, Pryor. What the heck? How is Big Vince faster than Pryor? Oh, gosh. Oh, you know what? Square. Square. I see you. Come on, Hunter. Oh, keep going. Nice, nice, nice. Touchdown. That was amazing. Hunter just seems so fast. Okay. I'm watching the middle. I'm watching. I'm watching. Oh, fumble. Come on. Please get up and tackle him. Yo, Trent Murphy, you are the freaking man. Whoa, what, what is he doing? Is he going to quit? Tell me he's going to quit. No, I like don't quit. I don't want him to quit. He quit. We are tied at 14 apiece and he quit. Are you kidding me? All right, guys, so normally I would like record another game and just like do the challenge all over. But leaving for Los Angeles, I'm going to be going there to hang out with some of the NFL rookies. I'm going to be vlogging it. So unfortunately, I don't have like enough time to play another game. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video anyways. Be sure to give a thumbs up if you guys want to see like more drafts or maybe even challenges with the wheel. And I just want to thank you guys for all the support. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.